All right, Shock Monster fans, we're going to watch a request. It's a request for the movie Mosquito. Let's watch. So Mosquito starts out in outer space, as one would expect it to. That's a spaceship. And down on Earth, we have a crash into a swamp. <laughs> that's a giant mosquito. I guess that swamp has radiated all the bugs and or at least the mosquitoes, and make them very big. And of course we have a bunch of kids partying in the woods. This is a recipe for disaster. Notice the camera angles here. We barely see their faces, but we have plenty of boob and crotch shots. Well, it doesn't take long before the bugs start making more appearances. That man right there is Gunnar Hansen from Texas Chainsaw Massacre. He and his brother just robbed the bank. War goes to... at it. Skeeter's having a field day here. And we have a couple in the woods. The girl's getting bitten on her butt. So we have this like meteor expert guy and the park ranger chick there and her boyfriend. Oh my god. What is that? Another one killed just like the last one. Remember all those kids partying in the woods? All we can do is remember them now. Alright, we now have our heroes set up, the three that you just saw, as well as one of the other park rangers. And they're escaping in a camper. Seems like we're the only ones that have to deal with these things. That is a member of the Stooges right there. You know, Megan, I've been one. Their trip is interrupted by Earl, that's Gunnar Hansen again. Are you insinuating that my brother and I have done anything wrong? No, no, that's not. So we're just trying to make it into the city. Well, maybe we have done something wrong. And maybe we haven't. A fight ensues, and after a little battle, the good guys do get the upper hand. And Earl and his brother get captured by them. And they take him prisoner aboard the camper. They drive off, but they got some problems. <laughs> he 
they end up crashing and Junior becomes the next victim. That's Junior. Get closer, man. They end up running through a sewer system or something and get pursued. That's it, no more shells for me. I'm out too. Well, we got a few left. Yeah, just as I suspect. Those mosquitoes are making these bodies radioactive. I think you guys are onto something. Now, this has got to be connected to that meteor. Now, we find that meteor, and we find the origin of these bugs, and, and then what? You end up finding a house. What do you guys find? Nothing. Like, we went right over whatever there is out there. What about you? Looks like we're going to be stuck here for the night. No phone, no transportation. And nobody's home. Any luck with that thing? No, no, not yet. Guess what Leatherface found in the basement? Found this in the workshop. Thought it might come in handy. Man, I haven't handled one of these babies in 20 years. Feels good. Okay. So they board themselves up inside this house, and once night comes, so do the mosquitoes. Lots of them. They're everywhere! Turns out there's a surprise waiting for them in the basement. They found the nest. They devised a plan. They're gonna blow the place up. They created a bomb. So if you don't have your ass out of here in three minutes, you'll be dead. Everybody ready? Ready. After blows, they go back in, and it turns out uh, the meteor expert hid in a fridge. These are our last three survivors. And that's how our movie ends. Alright, finally finished watching the movie Mosquito. It actually took me about two weeks to watch this movie. Uh, just um, other things to press and need. But anyway, finally got through Mosquito and it's actually a pretty decent movie. It's it's absolutely preposterous, of course, um, but it's fun. You know, it harkens back to a lot of those 50s and early 60s monster movies. You know, Mothra and... Godzilla, just giant insect movies. There was Tarantula, Them, and of course, who can forget Night of the Lepus with the giant rabbits, right? Um, another movie I have. Uh, Mosquito, again, was recommended by uh, one of my viewers, and I apologize because I forget who it was. I'm sorry. Um, was it... Uh was it Dr. Quagmire? I don't know. But anyway, I finally watched Mosquito here. I picked up the Blu-ray. I didn't have the movie in my collection, so I decided to pick it up. And uh, it was pretty entertaining. There's a lot of extras on here, too. There's like a behind-the-scenes footage, a making of, and there's all, it's like, like almost like two hours of extra programming on here. It's pretty cool, actually. Uh, it's a movie about some outer space stuff that comes down, and it radiates a bunch of mosquitoes, and it lands in this swamp, I guess, and then its radiation comes off. And suddenly the mosquitoes are like you know, three feet long. They're gigantic things, and of course, uh, marauding mosquitoes like to bite, and they this time they're so big, though, that they kill people. And that's what the plot of this movie is. Uh, we have a few survivors that eventually try to figure out, or they do figure out, uh, where these things are, 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 are coming from. They find this house uh, where there's a bunch of eggs, mosquito eggs in the basement. It's like the nest of mosquitoes, and they decide to burn up the whole place. 
Along the way, they pick up Gunnar Hansen, who you may remember as Leatherface uh, from the Texas Chainsaw Massacre and a couple of its sequels, I believe. There was a kind of cool scene there that I show where he picks up a chainsaw and he says, I haven't had one of these in 20 years. And that actually is correct uh, in terms of 1974 is when Texas Chainsaw came out. This little bugger here came out in 1994. So the timeline is correct. Way to go. Um, other than that, again, it's pretty cheesy. There are some a couple of decent gore scenes. And actually the effects, um, when they actually show the mosquitoes flying around, they're not bad. They're not bad. Uh, when you see them, I mean, they show some of the behind the scenes stuff. They actually had big models and stuff <clears throat> made of these things. Um, there was, I think, one nude scene in this movie, um, the woman in the tent. Um, apparently, I think it's full frontal too. Apparently this woman, uh, like something got like a microphone or something kept falling on her head during that scene and she may have got slightly concussed as well. So I don't know, but anyway, um, it's actually not a bad movie. Millions of years of evolution have just become mankind's worst nightmare. It's pretty entertaining actually. Like I said, this Blu-ray is pretty good. It's uh, put out by Synapse. It has a lot of cool extras. It's widescreen. It looks fantastic. <laughs> a movie like this shouldn't look so good. And also, um, oh, a guy from the, from the band, the Stooges, whose name escapes me here. Uh, do I see it on here somewhere? Uh, Ron Ashton. Yes, I believe he's deceased now. I think he was a, a either guitarist or a drummer for the Stooges. He's in this movie, too. He plays uh, probably pretty much the lead role there. So anyway, check it out. It's called Mosquito. It's pretty decent, actually, for what it is. Let me know what you think about it. Leave some comments down below. We'll talk about it. It's called Mosquito. Watch it. Bye.